An art exhibit with a powerful story open soon. Nathan Yoakum of Aurora is here with a preview of Artistry Unhoused, Enlightenment from the Streets. Good morning. Good morning. Tell us about this exhibit. I love the story behind it, Nathan. Well, when we were thinking about uh, special events coming up uh, late last year, you know, we also had to take COVID into consideration, but um, you know, we wanted to get back to having special events again. And, and one of the things that really inspired me a few years ago is when they did a, a kind of picture, a documentary of uh, the homeless in the, the community where they actually handed out cameras, uh, disposable cameras to the homeless. And they had a, a, a photo gallery kind of exhibit sort of thing. And I remember that and I, I had part in that a little bit. So this year I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, we kind of thought about having the photography involved with it, but as with a lot of really good ideas that kind of evolved uh, over time. And so what it, we did was, is we put a call for artists out, anybody who was homeless, formerly homeless, who had been through one of our programs, who had been through assistance, um, subsidized housing, had addiction or substance abuse issues, really any of those people who normally don't have a chance to show off their creative side. And there's so many creative people out there. So we wanted to give everybody the opportunity to be part of a real life exhibit, which uh, will be at the Arts Council from August 10th to the 28th. Now the opening reception is, is this weekend? Yes, the opening reception is this Saturday. Uh, doors open at 4.30, starts at five. It'll be at, at the ballroom at Sauced. And uh, that's really uh, an opening reception where we're gonna have uh, quite a few pieces. Um, I'm actually gonna bring more pieces than I originally thought. Uh, but uh, we're going to kind of show off a little preview of that, uh, probably get up and talk about Aurora a little bit, uh, do a slideshow presentation, because one of the things I had the artists do was document uh, the process in which they created their artwork. So uh, I have uh, so many pictures and videos to share and stories, uh, because the stories are just as powerful as the artwork. Well, that's, that's what's going through my mind as I'm listening to you talk, is that with every piece of art there, there's a, a, a person with a name and a personality and a story. Oh, absolutely. Um, hopefully we can fit in the picture, but this is, this is one such piece of artwork here. Uh, this is by a, a gentleman who uh, was in our reentry program. And a lot of his artwork, um, you know, when I talked to him, it was what he did to get by while he was in prison. And a lot of his artwork reflects um, the struggles that he had while he was in there and the struggles that he had when he got out. And uh, his work is absolutely amazing. I will put his work up against any artists in the area, but you know, nobody knows about him because he just does it for his own self-preservation. And I hear so many stories like that. And um, you know, here's a, here's, here's another piece, a wood carving piece too. Wow. I mean, it, 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 it just, it's just amazing. And the amount of out, uh, the amount of uh, people who've reached out to me, I would get like one or two phone calls a day. And this kind of really kind of took a life on its own. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a very kind of empathetic person. And uh, for me, this has been a, a great uh, joy to work with and really kind of fills that space in my heart that, uh, uh, you know, I, I really care so much about people and helping people. And this is a way for me to, to give them that opportunity. Nathan, I know you and I know that is your heart and I am looking forward to really spending some time in this exhibit. So thank you for sharing the story with our audience. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And just know that, uh, you know, when we have the opening reception, it, it is $25 a ticket, but all that goes to Aurora. It goes back to all our programs that we serve to help the homeless and those that are facing eviction and crisis. And, uh, and then when we sell the artwork, if the artwork wants to be sold, 100% of all the uh, profits from the artwork go back to the artists, so we keep it with them. That is good to hear. Thank you so much, Nathan. Thank you, Ange. Appreciate it. We'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this.